Hey, before we started talking about chapter four, I just wanted to say thank you. I'm getting some love in the comments, and um, I'm really happy to know that this is some helping some people. Um, it's motivating, and I can't thank you enough for letting me know that you're enjoying this series or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about chapter four. Let's keep learning, and let's uh, let's do this. So chapter four is on water management. Um, what water management is, is ensuring that the tree is getting adequate water, right? If the tree isn't getting enough water, it will be, uh, it will become dehydrated and uh, its overall health will suffer. Um, and if dehydration lasts over a long period of time, the tree will ultimately wilt and die. Um, it's important to understand that uh, like you can overwater trees too. Too much water is harmful. Um, if we water too much, the tree will run the risk of uh, getting root rot and um, is sub more susceptible to uh, different diseases, as well as uh, just toppling over if the ground becomes waterlogged. Um, so it's important for us to um, understand the ground's hold, uh, water holding capacity the infiltration rate of the soil and the percolation of the soil as well. So irrigation systems is a great way of delivering water to a tree and what an irrigation system is, is uh, just watering the tree through a watering system. Um, we want to water our trees either early morning or late in the evening. There's a couple reasons for this. Uh, it helps prevent evaporation throughout the day. So if we're watering in the middle of the day, not only is that bad for our grass, but the majority of that water will evaporate in the hotter months. Um, as well as like this ensures that the tree has enough water to make it through the day. A tree can lose 95% of the water it absorbs uh, in a single day through transpiration, right? So uh, we need to be watering when we need to be delivering the water at the time where it's going to absorb the most of it. Um, we also need to water at the right depth, the root zone, right? So um, it's best to water deeply and infrequently. This encourages the tree to uh, develop deeper roots, um, which not only sturdies the tree, but it also makes the tree more drought resistance, resistant. So there are all different types of uh, irrigation systems. Um, there's drip irrigation, there's your traditional sprinkler head, there's uh, like pressurized irrigation systems. There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, what I'm, I'm kind of getting the impression that drip irrigation is the way to go. Probably the best way to go. It um, applies water to a localized area of the root zone while reducing the potential for runoff, erosion, and uh, water loss by evaporation. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm finding. People are recommending the drip irrigation route. One way to know when to water is just simply by monitoring the uh, soil moisture. There's different tools for this. Um, they'll make it easy. So yeah, that's uh, it'll help prevent overwatering. It'll help prevent erosion. It'll help prevent like not watering enough. Um, so yeah, we want to just pay attention to our, to the soil moisture content. Water conservation should be considered in your uh, irrigation system, especially if you live in drier climates prone to droughts. Um, what water conservation is, is just reducing the unnecessary amount of water in your landscaping. So a great tool for water conservation is um, a technique of landscaping. It, uh, this technique is called xyroscaping, right? And it was developed in drier climates. And what they did was use just uh, drought resistant plants in their landscaping and then used mulch and rocks in order to control the moisture in 
the ground to help uh, conserve the water for the plants. This technique has actually been uh, developed and used in all sorts of environments now just to help reduce, uh, you know, water, um, to help reduce landscape maintenance and, uh, and hold on, <laughs> and use minimum irrigation. So in xyroscaping, I mentioned that mulching is used in water conservation. So what mulching is, is placing a layer of organic material, such as wood chips or bark, um, in your landscaping or around your tree. Uh, this retains the moisture and regulates the temperature of the ground. Um, so there's a couple things we want to do when mulching, especially around a tree. We don't want to pile that mulch real high, right? If we put too much mulch around a tree, that can suffocate the roots and lead to root rot and structural fa failure, honestly. Um, we also, so, so keep that, keep the mulch like two to three inches high around the tree. Um, we also don't want to just bury the trunk in wood chips or bark or any sort of organic material as well. Um, this will, uh, trap moisture and lead to fungal diseases or pests. Um, it's called root rot. You can just, if you bury the trunk, it can kill the tree. So in a good, a good rule of thumb is also keep that mulch pushed back two to three inches as well. So soil modification is the process of altering the physical and chemical properties of the soil. First, soil improvement is adding composite or fertilizer to improve uh, the... Uh, fertility? Yeah, fertility and water holding capacity of the ground. Um, second, soil uh, resurfacing is uh, just changing the grade to allow water to uh, run off. Like we'll do this in heavy, I did this in my front yard where water was building up. Um, other drainage techniques that are used are French drains, which seems like a lot to go through. What this is, is uh, it's a trench filled with gravel or rock uh, and perforated pipe. The pipe collects the water and carries it away from an area. I did this around my house. I can't imagine going, <laughs> the book mentions it, but I can't imagine doing this for a tree. Um, I guess people do, but uh, yeah, there's, there's other techniques too, such as a rain garden, which is like a shallow depression. You'll see this in front of, uh, you'll s like the church across the street has a couple of these. It's a depression in the ground that catches runoff from, uh, from like the road, parking lots. Its purpose is to catch runoff with potential chemical uh, and harmful things in it. Um, to, yeah, like to protect the landscaping and trees around it. Sweet, cool, so that's chapter four. I want to say thanks again. Um, I'm glad this is helping some people and uh, just stick with it. If there's anything that I missed, leave it in the comments for other people to read. Um, yeah, let's help each other out and let's uh, continue learning together. Thanks again.